Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So up next for New York, Steve Rogers. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That's a laser base hit. Mauricio around third. He scores, and they have the lead. one nothing. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well done. Drives in the run. These days, That's when you see a ball come off the bat like, like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive. And it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Frederick Riggs. Stays alive. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Rip it, rip it up. Fought off foul. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And the righty deals. Ripped on a line. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. Runner from third comes across. It's 2-0. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. That Just couldn't get it to drop in. Pepper. Francisco Alvarez. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Keller throws over, and he dives back in safely. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Bell Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. 3-2 on the way. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The throw in. He beats it safe. And they're up by three. Picks himself up in RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now the number two hitter, K.J. Harrison. His home and away splits there. The first baseman, K.J. Harrison. Hey, nobody out. Nobody out. Rudder at first with no outs here. Ground ball right side could be two. Simmons to second, and it's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. At the play, Steve Rogers. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Steve. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Grounder might be two. Steps Got on it. the bag for one. Goes to second. Okay. Safe there. The right fielder, number seven. Frederick. Ray. And welcome back. Here's Bubba Thompson. 
Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. You got to be kidding me. Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully, StatCast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. So two down, and next for the Mets, Steve Rogers. Now batting. Short Singing, stop. you can't ask for anything Steve. more. This guy checks all, right, all the right boxes here. offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. A soaring shot to center is 32nd of the year. It's 6-2. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. And now, Tyler Whitaker. Now batting. The right fielder, Tyler Whitaker. The pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw home, not in time. The run scores. It's six to three. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We're through five. It's the Mets six and the Rangers three. Hey, you can do it. Runner at first with two away. And stepping in for New York, Steve Rogers. Now batting, shortstop, Steve Rogers. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Mauricio, the runner at first with two gone. Well struck right field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Foskey with a relay throw. And he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I love the hustle out of the box. Man, he drove that baseball. And he was thinking triple right away. And now the right fielder, Frederick Riggs. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And now the lefty. He swings and fouls one off. Drive that pitch, huh? Hey, get a good one up Here there, comes a pitch. And a hey, base hey, hit into right everybody. center field. In comes the runner from third, and it's 8-3. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Steve Rogers, the next to hit. Just a single short of the cycle. Steve Rogers. Get your face, get your pitch, huh? Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. One down. So up next for New York, Frederick Riggs. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Hey, 
runner leads away at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Runner at second here, one gone. Got him. Two away. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now at the plate, Francisco Alvarez. Harrison settles underneath it, brings it in. That is the inning. Mets leave one, but still in command. It's 11-3. Welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Justin Foscue. Leading off for the Plenty leaders. of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, no but, Number yeah, one. you definitely expected Just to see some up. offense coming up. Ezekiel Durant. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. And your final, 11-3. to three. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.